Hey, what's going on, you two? EXO coming at you here. Borderline passing out this morning. Holy smokes. Sometimes I forget I got the Crohn's, man, and I went a little too liberal with the snacking last night. Whew. Was stuffing my face full of all sorts of treats into the wee hours of the night, and I am paying the price for it this morning. I'll tell you that right now. But don't worry about me. I'm going to muster through the worst of it today and show off something even cooler. Not saying that that was even cool, but a product that could help quite a few people with just curiosity or information about their car audio system. And what's cooler is that no one even knows about it. Oh, come on, man. I'm choking, I'm sorry. It's a secret little product that only a handful of people even know about, and there's certainly no YouTube videos about it yet. So today is the first debut of a good old Sparked one-off. Check it out, guys. Just picked this up from Showtime, the store where I work down in Knoxville, and this is the very first production model of... The Conductor. A ground distribution block that displays current. You can already let your mind wander with all sorts of useful applications for that, but today I'm going to sh show off just one really cool one and bring you through the whole uh, gist of it. So bottom line, it is a big custom made, handmade, machined aluminum distribution block. It has eight in, eight out, and four of those are made for lugs and four of those are made for just bare wire so you can plug it in either method that you prefer in your system but what's cool is anything that comes through this pathway here will be displayed on your little segmented led screen so instead of having like a clamp meter always installed in your system you can actually have something like this mounted in your dash pretty sweet so what could be handy for that? Maybe you had a couple alternators that you want to monitor the current that's coming out of them because you wouldn't believe how many times I've come home from a show and there's at least three or four posts on Facebook after the show saying, oh man, I was running on one alt the whole show or man, I was running on one amp the whole show or they didn't realize that something was wrong and they weren't at full potential. So what's cool is if you were to use a device like this and wire it in line with say your alternators, let's do that example first, uh, you would be able to see what your output is. So say if you're like, oh man, I'm at, I'm at 12.5. Well, maybe you're at 12.5 because you're pulling 300 amps. But what if you were at 12.5 only pulling 30 amps? That could be indicative of a bad cell, a bad connection, or heck, even an alt that's about to shit the bed. Otherwise, you would have like no idea of that actually occurring if you didn't monitor it 24 seven. So this is pretty handy. I think I would use that for that exact purpose, especially since in my setup, I'm gonna have two alternators and I want to make sure at all times that those alternators are functioning at their fullest potential. So this really could help uh, be a little fail safe in those situations where you may have a loose connection or a burnt up uh, fuse or something like that where you don't even really realize something's wrong with a component. So this is really cool. I like it. It looks the part too. It's kind of a recurring theme uh, with this build. I want everything to kind of look cohesive and matching. Before I've always kind of just had like a Frankenstein, no pun intended, of you know, a mod podge of everything. Wires this, wires that. I mean, it always looked decent, but I want to really make it look show worthy. So something like this, um, even if it is, you know, uh, all just for your own, what's that word I'm looking for? Uh, peace of mind. This really could look the part, you know, a nice little component to match everything else in your system. So let's go ahead and explain how it works. There's this little pigtail here located on the output side of the distro, which plugs into this extension cable. This will just run from the back of your build up through your car to your dashboard, bezel, or console of your choice. It just needs to be plugged into this bad boy right here. The LED screen will read anywhere between one to 1,000 amps. Yeah, a thousand. So whether you're doing high or low current applications, this bad boy right here will be able to tell you just about everything that's going on. And it does so through means of these specially formulated strips inside made of manganese. They have a known resistive value, just like every other piece of wire under the sun. This right here, four gauge, eight gauge, zero gauge wire. And it uses that particular value as a reference point from point A to point B to accurately calculate and display how many amps are flowing through the unit. And if you're sitting there to yourself, scratching your head, wondering, well, 
does this act maybe rob me of any performance? I was freaking blown away when I found out that not only does this retain voltage down to the 10th, down to the thousandths, but down to the 10 thousandths of a volt. And for us car audio guys, that's freaking awesome, man. A zero loss in performance while still displaying something useful. Now that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick little demonstration here. We got an Incriminator Audio 18 that I stole from down at the shop. Shh, don't tell anyone. No, nah, I'm just kidding. But Remy actually just called me from down there and let me know we got a whole heap and pile of these bad boys coming. So if you're liking what you see, be sure to check out Showtime for all the goodies that you may need. We got the bench top battery grounded through the inputs and outputs of the conductor into our good old dusty, trusty amplifier. So let's go ahead and get this sublifier move sublifier, this sub for moving and turn on the LED screen. Just use my little alligator clip here and we'll see what the uh, verdict is. All right, looks like the idle draw of this amplifier is right around four amps. We're at uh, 3.96. That makes sense. There's a fan in this, it's humming right away. So let's go ahead and see what, what the refresh time is. That's one of my biggest curiosities of this is how fast it refreshes. See if we can fluctuate these numbers a little bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna jump up pretty fast, see what the refresh is like. Well, it looks to be about one per second, one hertz. Uh, that's probably the limitations of this LED screen. So that's something that could be constantly improved as versions go. So look at that, we're peaking at about 130, 127. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. So yeah, that's cool. Let's go ahead and give her a nice big burp up to maybe over 200 here. Here we go, 233. So it is, it does have its limitations as far as refresh, so one every second. So if you're looking to have like, you know, minuscule readings, you'll probably have to wait for V2, but this is still really helpful for a lot of people. So there we go. I'm gonna give it as much as she can. I'm gonna go full bore here. I'm gonna go into a, a nice soft clip and see uh, how much at four ohms. I mean, this is, you know, uh, we're pushing this amplifier. So we're at four ohms. Let's see what we got here. Oh man, I, we definitely are clipping there. Did you hear it? 271 at four ohms. Holy smokes, that's freaking impressive. All right, so I just let the sub cool down and I wired up two multimeters, one on the input and one on the output, just to see what it's like at a constant draw um, as far as voltage, because obviously that's how it kind of uh, does its magic. Let's do uh, at least 100 amps for three seconds, see what the verdict is. Looks pretty good to me. So as you can see, both of these mirrors are reading the same. Obviously they're not in a, you know, from the same batch, they're not gonna read exactly to the millisecond, but it was pretty much dead on perfect. Let's do it one more time. This is the input, this is the output. 85 amps, 12.9. Let's go a little higher. 130 amps, 12.6. And she's holding. So as far as the car audio world is, tenths, you know, is where you don't need to worry about anything past the tenths place. And another thing I wanted to do real quick was show how this can be actually kind of fun to play with. I'm gonna play different frequencies and show even at a constant volume, not changing the level of the bass whatsoever, how drastically everything varies, obviously because music is so dynamic. I'm gonna go to 50 amps and hold it. Get up to 50, right around 50. All right, right there. Now I'm just gonna bring the frequency down and, and look at how much it changes. It's incredible. Holy. It already feels so much louder and crazier, but we're pulling less current. The whole table is shaking apart. I should probably hold this thing. It's getting even crazier to the ear, but we're pulling less power. Now we're down into 30 hertz. Holy smokes. Look at that. What? 11. Look how much the sub is moving and how like violent it is in the environment and how loud it sounds. 
but we're at the same volume and it's just that those fluctuations man it's crazy so that's really the a lot of the fun part that i'm gonna be looking forward to like you'll be jamming along you'll see the numbers fluctuating even though the the bass may seem more impressive at lower numbers the ear is so messed up spl is like the same way what translates on the meter doesn't always translate to the ear and so it's kind of strange to see that translated into numbers so there we go just wanted to change things up a little bit today showing off something that i'm really looking forward to using in my personal rig i've been trying to alternate videos between building the system itself and showing off the gear that's going inside it so if you like what you saw today be sure to click the links in the description and use your coupon code exo if you want to save a little bit of extra dough every little bit helps you helps me it helps everybody be on the lookout for the next build log too i've been gotten at least freaking another two or three hundred gigabytes already filmed i'm just gonna let christmas pass go visit family and i hope you're doing the same i'm gonna eat some more treats but i'm not gonna be getting crazy man i already learned my lesson man from last night so uh thanks for watching guys and doing all that youtube stuff i will talk to you guys after the holiday be safe and be happy this is exo signing out